the evolution of my gaming setup. I started making videos about nine years ago and I've had a bunch of gaming setups and streaming setups since then. So today we're gonna go through all of them starting from my very first setup ever. This is my 2006 gaming setup. Now I know it doesn't look like a lot, but back then this was an incredible beast. I played a game called Lego Raceway and it was one of my favorite games of all time. And I started learning how to play PC games. I had a Nintendo 64 and I had this as my main game gaming station for the most part when I live with my mom. Now there's a huge jump from 2006 to 2013 because I didn't really have a PC setup, I guess, for the longest time after this because when I moved homes, I didn't really have a lot. And I used to just play on my Xbox 360 and just kind of plug it to whatever TV worked. Down in the depths of my files, I found one of my very first ever room tubers. Now let's just cut to the chase. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but I'll show you a little bits and pieces of it. And here it is right here, roll it. This is my TV that I brought from my mom. My other monitor went away somewhere. And this is my new blue snowball mic. Asus laptop. You guys seen that before. My Xbox right there, which I will be recording when I get Christmas stuff and stuff. And this is my controller that I got from Braden. Pretty sweet. Got my control freaks on there. Not a sponsor at all. Control freaks are awesome. But this is my 32 inch Vizio TV. I have another Vizio TV. That's why my monitor is right there. Yeah, just behind here is a punching bag and a bunch of effing cords. I got my Rubio's cup. Not a sponsor there either. Rubio's is an amazing place to eat. Or, er, sorry. Not Rubio's, Gym Boys. No sponsor intended. And myself over here. Hello. Now, I started getting more into the setup space here. This is when I found Ed from TechSource on YouTube, and I started watching his videos a lot, especially the second episode of Setup Wars. And that was like my very first ever video I watched on gaming setups, and I got hooked since then. What's funny is you can actually see the second episode on the screen on this picture, which is kind of cool. But this was my 2014 gaming setup. I basically took the desk from the 2013 one, and I took the back off of it that had the whiteboard, and I made it to more where no one could see my screens, and it was like facing my wall. And and the cable management wasn't any better. Then we move on to 2015, where I really wanted to do something with my room, but I wasn't like sure how I wanted to do it. I got really crafty on this one, okay? Bear with me. I used my 38 inch TV, hooked it up to my laptop, and then I put a bookshelf into one of the squares of the Ikea square thing to where I could have a keyboard stand, and then I clamped a little square to the outside to put the mouse on. I know it seems very annoying and like this would never ever be comfortable, but it worked. And I used my Beats headphones as like my main thing thing to listen to things. So I had my Xbox hooked up to this and then I had my laptop. So I'd play CSGO on the TV and then I'd play my Xbox on it if I didn't want to play that. Now we go to 2016 where I received my very first PC. This is the very first picture of my gaming setup that I had after I got my PC. And this was such a cool experience for me because I had my very first gaming setup ever. I had a new desk and a new PC and I was ready to play some games. In this picture, I just had gotten my new mic, new monitor, and I took a bookshelf that I had that was standing and I cut it and made a brand new little monitor riser. Something to note about this is back then when I streamed, I had a CSGO surf stream that popped off and people donated me money and that's how I afforded my first mic. And this is the setup at night. I also got like a bass boosted thing with some speakers and I mounted the speakers underneath the side of the desk, which I thought was super unique and cool, which no one had done at the time. So I thought it was pretty cool. So now it was time to build my new desk. And this is at the end of 2016, right before I moved in 2017. So this is at the time that the Alex Shores had just came out and the countertop Alex Shore meta became a thing. So I bought two Alex Shores, a new countertop, and I bought a monitor mount to hold both my monitors, some speakers, better headset, and a better keyboard and mouse. For Christmas, I got a bunch of foams for the behind my setup, and I think that was really cool that my grandparents got me that. Now we got into 2017, and this was one of the best setups I've had in a long time. My parents had just bought a new home, and we were moving into it, which meant I got a bigger room. So this setup is pretty much the carbon copy of the last setup. It's just moved into a new space, and it looked really, really clean. Honestly, I really enjoyed it. That's all I can really say about 2017 and 2018. I pretty much had the same setup for a long time. So then here comes 2019, where I really had some more money now after I turned 19. I had a job at Whole Foods and I was able to do college and stuff like that at the same time. So I was investing a lot of that money into my setup at this point. This setup was the setup that was one of my favorites. I started streaming a lot more on this setup. You could actually see some of my clips on my Twitch channel, which Michael will probably throw on screen. Oh my God. Oh! Oh, there's a kid on Polar Peak. That's who he's shooting at. Oh! Ah! 
But the coolest thing about the setup is that it got on Setup Wars episode 189. I was actually the thumbnail, which is cool. But it kind of sucks that this was the setup that made it in because I feel like some of my other ones were better. This was the Fortnite era where the Air 58 and the Ducky 1 2 Mini were like popular. He kind of roasted my setup and I'll play the clip right now, roll it. It seems that everyone and their mothers are using the black Linman tabletop with the Alex Joris from Ikea. This is a pretty much the equivalent of a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks that everyone always gets in fall. Aiden is rocking the Ducky 1 2 Mini with Teo Ho keycaps in blue and the Ninja Air 58 mouse in red which I'm guessing blue was sold out because there isn't any consistency here with the colors. Then we get to 2020 and the pandemic. Lockdowns were starting and I actually lost my job. And this is when streaming started taking off for me. I started streaming every day, posting TikToks four times a day. And then in September 2020, I became a full-time creator, which also meant that I started the mousepad business on September 19th. I started my mousepad business at the same time. And then I started taking content a little bit more seriously. I posted my very first setup tour 2021 and near the beginning of the year. You guys probably remember that setup the most because that was the one that I blew up the most with and I had a bunch of streaming moments in that one. But here's the setup tour for 2021. I'm going to roll it and then we're going to jump into the next thing. So check out the setup tour right now. Room tour 2021. <laughs> I got smiles in my eyes like I'm hypnotized I'ma do it if you I fucking need it now so this is going to be my room tour let's get into it okay so let's start with the G um, this is a Nettleaf canvas panels. I bought nine of them and I made it into a form of a G. Got Z Aiden, obviously. For Luma Stream, Luma Stream, they can the chat can change these. I think you guys have seen this, or if you've been to my streams, you guys know about this. Same with the light. These are all smart lights. I can control them with Echo Show 8 slash A word. I don't want to say it. You guys know what I mean. So this is an IKEA lamp I got. Um, they don't currently sell it anymore. Um, but it actually kind of attested to me getting a really viral video on TikTok a while ago and kind of kickstarted my career. So I always have it in my room just because of how special it is to me. Okay, moving on. So this is a little camera I have that's kind of running USB across the floor all the way to my setup that basically serves for a live back camera to my setup. So when I'm starting my stream, you guys can kind of see the behind uh, the setup thing. So it kind of like shows on the stream. It's pretty cool. And then down below this, I have my record player that I got gifted from a couple friends. And I actually really like this. And the the one that I have right now is Elton John in here, but I only have a few records. So I'm trying to get more, but overall really, really cool. Starting to get into collecting those. Uh, moving on, so I have a Logic poster that is for everybody, the everybody um, poster and everything. It's actually signed by Logic. Um, one of my favorite rappers of all time. And I really like this poster. It's been really, really cool to have. Um, and I framed it in a really, really nice movie frame. And I love that a lot. This is the top down setup. This whole desk and setup is custom made by me and my dad. And it's really cool. Let me get into it all. The coolest part about this desk right here is not just because it's a desk, but it also is a vert stand desk from FlexiSpot that I mounted the top for. So see how it's flush now. If I want to make this a, certs, a sit stand, all I have to do is raise it. Um, and it raises up as well. It raises up off of the desk and you can see it can go higher. And it's actually really, 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 really cool. To store my camera batteries, I have these little things mounted, store all my batteries, and it's pretty, pretty cool. Because then when I need a battery, I just pull it. And then when I'm ready to charge one, I just put it back up in there. So this is the GA custom desk that I made. Uh, my dad and I basically took a birch wood countertop, hosed it all down with fire. And that's why you see like these burns randomly. And then we sanded it and then put a GA logo. We taped out the logo and painted wood stain on there to make it dark. It's really, really cool. It turned out really awesome. And then we sealed it and now it's really, really smooth. Then I have like a, a thing by Infinite Objects. It's a D infinite DVD painting thing. I, I think it's pretty cool. I just got it today. It's probably not the best spot for it, but it looks pretty cool. Um, so then you're probably wondering why I have a monitor taped to a boom arm. Um, this is a blue compass. And the way I do this is this is a portable monitor that I got from Azai. And um, I velcroed the, the, the monitor to it and then ran the cables behind it. So when I'm reading chat or I'm wanting to stream on this setup and build a keyboard or whatever, I can literally mount the camera you're seeing right now to this Joby mount, which has a dummy battery and a cable that I plug into my PC. 
and I can stream from this area. Um, building keyboards, looping switches, whatever, I can do it on this. Also, I can record hop down footage without actually recording it on the camera, even though I still do for the quality because OBS doesn't have the best quality. And I can also put wallpaper engine as you can see on here. And then here is my light. I kind of have like a little lighting set situation here, battery powered and I have it plugged in. And then I have my Alexa because I worked with Amazon at the time to make a thing for their YouTube channel, which is really, really cool. And then Alexa can control the whole room. So Alexa, turn my lights to blue. All the lights can turn to blue. After that, I have shelves. So let me show you guys what are on the shelves. So I mounted these like puck things to get lighting behind and for the bottom of the shelves just to make it look a little bit cleaner. I have G Fuel on this shelf, a plant and a cam link. And then we got like some fan art. We got like a keycap set, um, cameras and stuff, and some anime stuff from Naruto because I love Naruto. And then, then I have this like banana hook thing I did on a TikTok where I mounted to the bottom of the shelf and then I hung my Oculus to it. And I actually have skins for the Oculus coming. It's just taking a while. Um, they're gonna be custom skins to match my mouse pad. Okay, so moving on. Uh, you're probably wondering what the wall panels are. Basically, the way I mounted these, I didn't hot glue them or anything. I have nails, and we, my dad had a nail gun, and we just went in um, and did every corner, and it really lined up nicely. Um, it looks really, really nice. So, a lot of you have been asking about the GA sign as well. Um, the cables are ran through the wall panels, and I custom cut this out of a countertop, and we basically sealed it the same way, burned it the same way. It turned out really, really, really cool. You can see that there's like RGB behind there, and I just put a bunch of uh, LED shits behind it and ran all the stuff down behind the monitors. So um, let's get into like the gear I use. This is the Shure SM7B. I'm sure you've heard it or seen it on every single big person's uh, YouTube channel. And this is the blue compass that holds it. I can move it up and down, etc. Um, best mic I've owned um, by far. <laughs> sounds great, sounds crisp. I have it just kind of on this desk so then I can kind of move it to where I want. And then when I want to build keyboards or move it to this setup or I need it for voiceovers, I can move it to this setup too. So that's why I wanted to put it right there. People will kind of ask me, why didn't you put it back there? The reason is because if I have it right here, I can move to this setup frequently and I can move to this one and use it on my main setup or I can use it on my alt setup, which is really, really nice. So moving on to my camera that I use for streaming. Um, this is the Sony a6000. This is a Sigma lens that I have. It's a 16 mil uh, Sigma 1.4. I love this camera. Really good streaming camera. Um, I have the box here. It's kind of a little scuffed um, and I'm working on making this mounting system a little bit better. It's on a $12 Amazon boom arm from like for a mic, like a really crappy mic. And then it's got like a a newer Z mount and a adapter to adapt to it. That itself is kind of, it's kind of sketch, but overall it works and the box kind of just holds it in place. So when I shake the desk, it doesn't move very often. For now, that's what I'm using and I'm gonna be upgrading that soon. So let's talk about like the actual setup and peripherals. So this is, okay, so I use a Dell 144 Hertz at the top. I use a MSI 165 Hertz curved 1500R for the bottom. And I'm actually working on my sponsorship with ASUS to get a new one. Um, and then this is my 22 inch by Ace, uh, Acer. Uh, it's like a vertical monitor for chat. And then I have the light kind of just mounted to the, the vase amount bar right there. And then when I'm ready to start streaming, I just flick this on and it gives me a nice little catch light for that camera for the stream. And then I do have my C920 up top, but it kind of doesn't work right now. I don't know why. Um, okay, so the next thing is the Go XLR. As you guys know, Go XLRs are kind of went discontinued for a little bit, but they may be back. I don't know. Really, really like the Go XLR. Great product. Love that thing. Caught all the effects on it. Got the sampler, got the, um, the bleep, the mute, and I can do individual tracks, which made my life a shit ton easier. And then I have the stream deck. I get comments all the time on TikTok like, you don't even use your stream deck, you have one thing, but when you open this up, you press it, and then I have like a bunch of folders and I organize it. And then I got like all my scenes for OBS, um, all my scenes for OBS sounds, and then, um, and then like commands for chat if I need it. That's what I use for that. And I have coasters for when I'm drinking something. I don't wanna mess up this desk since I put a lot of work into this. So I put the coaster on the left side of me and then I drink from there. So getting on to the mouse I use, I use the G Pro. Um, even though I do have a fully custom Viper Ultimate, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, this G Pro, I just, I love it. I don't know. And then I got this stand for the G Pro, which made my life a shit ton easier to charge. It charges faster than the actual cable, which is really cool. Um, okay, so the next thing I have is a co coiled cable by Define Cables. They sent this out to me. I have a couple different colors. 
I'm testing kind of black right now with this mouse pad looks great. And then I got a custom build that um, AR key sent me a while back. These are like a pirate keycap set from KBD fans. And I just think it fit the blue and black white kind of theme. So um, it's a navy blue case that kind of matches the blue and the blues match and it looks great. I work on mouse pads. As you guys know, GA mouse pads, um, I do them drops. This is the midnight drop and it fits my setup immaculate. I love this. Um, this pad is my favorite pad I've ever used, even though it's my own brand and I know I gotta be a little bit biased, but overall, I've loved the quality of the pad. Four mil thick, great stitch edging, great glide too. Really, really nice, love the pad, it matches everything. And then let's talk about my chair because I get questions on my chair all the time. What chair is it? It's a Secret Labs chair. Um, this is, uh, I made the investment because I had a really bad office chair at the time. And yes, I use the bottom pillow and no, I don't use the top pillow unless uh, I put it down for my neck, which yeah, overall is nice. And the chair has lasted me a long time. I've had it for about seven months and I haven't seen any fraying on anything and it's stayed pretty true to comfortability. No problems there. Talk about the headset I use. I actually have a headphone hanger underneath. So these are my Audio-Technica M50Xs. Love this headset. I have like the soft padding at the top and I have the Brainwave, Brainwave's ear cups. As you can see, they're pretty thick. Love, the, love that headset, been using it for like six years. Now let's get onto the PC. This is my PC, partly sponsored by ASUS. Special thanks to ASUS. Um, it's a B550E with two LO140s on the side for the RAD with an NZXT X X63. And then we have an MSI 3080, which I'm trying to get an ASUS one eventually. And then I have four LO120s on the top and three QL120s on the bottom. I have cable mod cables for my GPU. I know it looks bad right now. I'm working on fixing those, but overall I love the PC. Um, I also have an Elgato 4K60 in the uh, PCIe at the bottom. And overall looks great. Also for storage, I have a 10 terabyte hard drive, one terabyte M.2. I also have 64 gigs of RAM uh, with Trident Z. It's pretty much everything in my PC. Uh, here's my other shelf over here. This is where I keep my keyboard stuff. Uh, mainly, I have a keyboard stand that were custom 3D printed by a homie of mine called Sviz. So thank you for those. This is my Vermilio keyboard, beautiful keyboard. This is like one of the best keyboards I've ever typed on. Then I got a custom Viper Ultimate by Nacho Customs. Um, if you guys wanna see it, here it is. Absolutely killed this, love it. And then here is the other keyboard I have. It's a Novel Key Creams uh, Blink keycap set with um, a E White Tofu. And I love this keyboard as well, it's really, really, really nice. And then I have a poster over here by Colin Wasson on TikTok. Uh, he's a friend of mine as well, and he sent this over to me to put it in the setup So I framed it and put it above my hoodies. This is on to my next point I have a little hoodie rack as I come in the door I can basically put on a hoodie or throw it up here if I need to overall I think that's the room in total um, I also have a mini fridge It's kind of empty right now because I have G fuel sending me um, a bunch of stuff um, on Thursday overall been building this for a while now and I've been really, really working on it. After watching that setup, then I got an offer to move with my cousins to a bigger house where I could live on my own for the first time. I was 21 years old and I decided that I wanted to move out because I didn't have the room or storage to do so to live in this house anymore with my parents. I was outgrowing it. I had so much tech product coming in from brands. I had no room. So then I moved into the new house in August, 2021. And I knew that I had to go all out with this setup. So I started building with my dad and it took about a month to build, but it was one of the best setups I've ever built and here is the room tour from 2021 roll it so right when you walk in my door this is my bed and this is my dresser then the setup is on the left I'm fortunate enough in this house to have the master bedroom so I have a lot of space for my setup and my whole room so I don't have to use two separate rooms this is what this part of the setup looks like and I'm gonna go into everything I own here in a second let's start with my mic this is the sure SS oh my god let's start with my mic <laughs> <laughs> this is the Shure SM7B and I love this thing. It was a dream mic for me growing up as a kid and now that I have it, it's amazing. The sound quality is great on it and I love this thing. Let's talk about the mixer. The mixer I use is the GoXLR, the full version, and I have a couple tracks for my stream, which this one is included with the mic, system, music, voice chat, and then I have all the effects on this. It's a really cool way of displaying your audio to your stream and I like it a lot. 
Let's talk about my lighting situation here. You, you guys saw this one. This usually goes in the other room that you guys saw on the house tour, but this is my Relano lights. And these are not as smart as, you know, an Elgato key light, but they do the job pretty well. These are just soft lights by Relano and they're battery powered. So if you just plug them in, you just unplug them when you're ready and you can take them pretty much anywhere with you, which is nice. But I usually leave these stationary and mounted to a $30 mount that you get on Amazon, which I'll have linked down in the description. But these are really great. Uh, I really like them and they go pretty bright too. I think this is on 33%. If I turn it all the way up, you can see how bright this actually gets. It's pretty incredible. So if you want to get these, they, I think they're 200 bucks for two, which is incredible by the way. Moving on. This is my camera setup. Now I got a lot of questions on TikTok because I mainly make videos on TikTok about how I set this up. This is an Elgato multi-mount with the extra arms. The multi-mount comes up on behind this monitor. Basically it's the multi-mount large with the arm and different pieces. So I use the largest one here and then a medium one here. And then I just mounted the ball mount right here. Now, the only problem with setting it up like this is your camera is upside down. So if you try to use Discord, anything like that, you're gonna have issues with it being upside down, but on stream, you can just flip it on OBS. So yeah, that's how I have it set up. So I have a dummy battery, and usually I use the lens you're seeing right now on this camera, but I put a test one just to show you. This is my Sigma lens, but I usually use the Tamron 17 to 28 2.8. Um, this is like my main lens that I use and then it has the little adapter to go to HDMI which I run a 20 foot HDMI all the way through my setup to my capture card that's in my PC. I usually use a cam link, but I'm using a capture card in my PC. I'll show you in a little bit. Moving on, this is my stream deck and basically I have the, the sleep mode on right now to kind of match the mouse pad. Let me show you what I have set up here. I usually have a stream tab and then I have, this is all Spotify. You can control Spotify. There's a plugin that you can get for a stream deck, which basically makes it to where you can control your Spotify and it's really helpful for changing songs or muting the song whenever I need it. And then I also have commands that I use in chat for an example like store add whatever I need to do for twitch I just click that and then my scenes these are all the scenes for OBS and I also have like some individual stuff that I use for my game screen and overall that's pretty much how I have it organized and I also have a way of controlling my lights right here as you guys can see through a app called Lumia stream that I use for alerts and everything else and overall that's pretty much what I have and then I also have the twitch thing where you can clip and use different stuff like that a shout out or a mark or a clip or a highlight whatever and then I just put it back in sleep mode when I'm done. So that is my stream deck setup right now. And then let's talk about my monitor orientation because I get a lot of questions on this. I've been doing this monitor orientation for about four years and I love this monitor orientation. I will never trade it because I love it and the productivity flow is insane on it. So let's talk about this monitor in specific. I used to have a Acer monitor, but I switched to this Azai monitor that they sent out to me. Thank you, Azai. But now I have it on a little vase amount right here as you guys can see. It's on a vase amount, uh, one vase amount, and it just mounts to my desk because I wanted to get it perfectly and mounting it to the wall would not work with this multi-mount right here where I wanted the camera. So I did the mount here and then these two are wall mounted horizontally on top of each other, stacked. This is a Dell 144 hertz monitor on top. My Asus 280 hertz monitor. This thing was actually sent out to me by Asus. They're both 27 inches and this is a 24. This monitor is insane by the way. 280 hertz, insane refresh rate i love this thing i love playing valor on it valorant on it it's great and then here's my other relano light this one's a little bit more cable managed than the other one because the other one i kind of just plug in i use for other things now let's get into my peripherals i switch between my keyboard and mouse a lot right now it's an october theme so i'm doing icky 68 build with some orange keycaps and my new 8-bit collection for my mouse pads this is my keyboard right here it's an icky 68 with ink yellows it's also hot swap as well i'm working on getting better switches and better stabilizers and i also am working on a full youtube video for this as well. I'm really impressed with this keyboard, but I'll give you a little sound test right here. That's a quick sound test of my Icky 68. I know it doesn't sound the greatest and it probably could sound better. I'm gonna get better switches, better stabilizers and actually do a better job on this. I kind of rush this keyboard. Still a great keyboard, by the way. I just need to do a better job. Very, very impressed with the Icky 68, by the way. Great keyboard. This is also a cable by Define Cables. Usually it goes straight, but I'm kind of curbing it for now. Um, I'm trying to figure out a better cable management situation for it, but it looks great so far. So that's a thank you Define Cables and thank you Asus and also thank you Icky 68 for making a good keyboard cannon keys, you're insane. This is also the next big thing in my setup. I am a G Pro user. I love the G Pro. 
there is no better mouse in the world than the G Pro. I, 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 there probably is in other people's mind, but my mind, I love this mouse so much, I will never give it up. It is the best mouse that's ever lived on this planet, and I, and I, it, it literally is so good. Um, this is just my regular G Pro Super Light, but I also have a fully custom one that I use, and when I use my blue setup, same one in white, but uh, Nacho Customs, fully customized, hand painted for me. This usually matches my Aqua mouse pad. Uh, in my collections on my website but it's really really awesome and this is also the same as that it weighs no different it's exactly the same just the art on it is different and i don't want to use it in this orange and black setup so i have it in my drawer i also have this g pro charger right here and i usually just plop it on here like this and it charges it's actually insane because i love the way that this works and i know that the g pro the main complaint from other people is that it doesn't have a charging station well it does now and you can get it on Amazon for 20 bucks and I'll have it linked in the description. It's actually insane, I love that too. Moving on to the rest of my setup, including my PC and my shelves. I'm waiting for my other 3D printed stand to come for this shelf alone. I have a Tokyo 60 up here and then I have a Tofu 60 right here. And then I have a little bit of an Xbox controller that I'm working on getting like an actual stand for it. Tokyo 60 with Robin custom switches and other things like that. This shelf, my G Pros and then a custom Viper Ultimate. What was that? Oh, it scared me. Oh my god, the trash can scared the shit out of me. Oh, I was like, what the fuck was that? I got chills. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, this is my shelf. I have a couple G Pros, my Viper Ultimate, and my phone case, and then like some other knickknacks. So moving on to the wall and the other side of the setup. So this is my PC. I kind of have it in spooky mode right now. It is a Ryzen 9 5950X with a AIO, the Z63. I hope I get that right. Might be wrong. My GPU is a 3090 Strix by Asus. It's insane. I love this GPU. And also, I have 64 gigs of RAM, Corsair Vengeance as well. So it's all sitting on the Asus B550E. Also, I'm running uh, QLs on the bottom, LLs on the side, and more LLs. And overall, the cooling is insane on this thing, and it's been really great to build in. So that is my PC right now. It's also running a 1250 watt power supply by Silverstone. Moving on from the PC to the wall, we built this in a previous video. If you guys want to go see it, it's on the screen right now. Basically, these are the Govi lights on my wall. I have four packs of them, which are six in each pack, and you can only go to six. So basically, I have six little links all the way to the center, and they both cut off right here. So I have one, two, three, and four, and basically, they all work together. So if I change the lights, on the Gobi app, I have wall basically set up as a room. And then you go to like scene and there's all kinds of different stuff you can do. I kind of like this one. I think it's bubble. Bubble is insane. So you guys can kind of see where the line is. If I didn't show you, you would never know. That's how I did this wall and it made it look insane. The way that I have these panels on there is these panels are actually hot glued onto a big piece of plywood so it's a eight by four plywood there's two of them and one of them is cut a little bit shorter to basically match the wall so then we also cut the the panels to fit into the right slot and then we got some extra molding around it and it made it look insane this sign was actually in my previous video on my setup and we actually cut it out of a countertop we messed up on our first countertop and we were like you know what let's just make something cool out of it so me and my dad went to a garage cut this up and actually made it ourselves. It's pretty cool. It's one of the biggest things in my setup and one of the coolest things as well. I love it. It gives an accent to the wall and it also matches the desk. It's the same exact wood. I just love this thing. So then I put some RGB on the back of it by Govi again so they all match. Yeah, it made this setup look so much cooler. Yeah, let's move on to my other little setup over here. This is actually a fully custom desk that I have. Let me show you guys the custom part of it. It has my logo in it and this is for filming or building PCs, keyboards, whatever. And it's also vertical stand so you can move it up and down it moves and me and my dad basically took a flexi spot desk made this custom countertop and then replaced the old one with this one and it's incredible it looks great this is gonna be another video on my channel of building my dream filming studio and we actually have an Elgato multi mount for it we're gonna have this camera set up on it and we're basically gonna be making a filming studio with lighting all that stuff to basically film product shoots and uh, these are actually just my mouse pads I'm just using them for storage right now because I just got all these in the mail and um, I also have some bins for storage underneath here and I'm working on getting 
getting some pegboards for this wall. I also have a mini fridge with some water and some Red Bull in it. And this is it. That's pretty much this side of the room. I'll show you guys a quick brief version of my room real quick. Let me go from this side. And I also kind of have like some boxes laying around and stuff. Cause I'm not entirely moved in. I've only been here a month. After that, it was time to like actually upgrade the setup a lot more. And this is where I wanted to just make more content, improving the setup, honestly. And I felt like I needed to keep expanding my knowledge on the actual setup scene itself and just improving my setup overall. Kept building it. And I did a couple building my setup videos in between. And then I made another tour. And this was the last tour before I left the house because I wanted to leave everybody with like the last setup that you guys would see of that. So roll it. My gaming setup is a space I use as a tool to spark creativity, unwind, or even be productive. Recently, I've grown a lot on this YouTube channel and I wanted to share my setup with you to hopefully inspire some of you guys to improve your own spaces. With that being said, let's start with the desk. I run four white Alex shores and two countertops. Two countertops are hardware reflections countertops. You can get these from Home Depot for $200 to $350, depending on the size. Something to note is that they come unfinished, which means you have to treat the wood yourself. The way I did it is I took a propane torch, made custom burns, and sanded it down to get the burnt wood look. Then I sealed it with clear wood finish so it would look nice. Moving on from the desk though, let's talk about the wall cabinets above the setup. This is the New Age Bold 3 series wall cabinets. These are usually used for garage storage, but I thought I could try something different. Since these are heavy duty aluminum, they can store a lot of things and you can use them as a magnet pretty much. So for an example, I made a custom magnet mount for my softbox light to screw into. This is really convenient if I want to move any of the lights around the room. In the middle of the cabinets, I have a shelf that has a prop katana and then some Gobi hexes behind it. The cool thing about the Gobi hexes is there's directional movement on the lighting, so it can go left or right or up and down. Underneath that, I have some Gobi glides to add some ambient light above the monitors. To the right of the main setup, we have the GA wall. This is a fully custom built wall by me and my dad and my dad custom made the logo out of a countertop which was a lot of work that way since i'm leasing this house when i go to move it won't be a lot of work to remove it if you want to see the whole build process of the wall i'll link the video in the description then below the ga sign i have a productivity setup now this is running a 34 inch ultra wide by lg and my 16 inch m1 macbook pro for this setup, I wanted it to be very simple and just a place to work. Cool thing about this setup is it's only two cables, a USB Type-C and the charging cable. Now, let's talk about the PCs running this setup. I'm running a dual PC setup for this layout. For the gaming rig, the specs that you really need to know is it's running a Ryzen 7 5800X and a Gigabyte 3090. Similar to the gaming PC, the streaming PC is running a Ryzen 9 5950X and a 3090 Strix by ASUS. This one, I went a little bit harder on for the aesthetic though because you can see it on stream. The side of the glass has my logo and my motto, prove them wrong. Moving on to my monitor layout. The monitor layout I run is four monitors in a layout like this. I use two vertical monitors and the mini horizontal monitor for the streaming PC. And then for the gaming PC, I just connect it straight to the only main monitor. That way, when I play games, I get the best performance possible. On to the peripherals. Let's start with the audio. For my audio mixer, I'm running a Go XLR, and for my mic, I'm using the Shure SM7B. If you want to know the mic quality, you're listening to it right now in this voiceover. For my headphones, I recently picked up two pairs. For the main setup, Drop sent me out their Sennheiser 58Xs, and for my productivity setup, I run the Sony XM5s. These have been insane for productivity since the noise cancellation on these headphones are absolutely insane. The best feature of the XM5s is if you're watching a video and you take them off, it will literally pause the video for you, and this is a game changer. Moving on from the audio, let's talk about the main camera I use in the setup. The streaming camera I use is a Sony Mark IV with a Sigma 16mm, and it's attached to an Elgato Multimount XL. Attached to the camera though, I have a Swiddy S20 Mini LED light, which is attached to the top of the camera to brighten up my face for the live streams. I made this addition in my last room upgrades video, and I think it's honestly a game changer. Lastly, the desk peripherals. My main keyboard of choice is a KVD67 Lite R3 with ink black switches. They're also lewd with 205 grade zero and the keycap set is a GMK Striker 2.0. To top it all off, I have my very own spacebar. I also recorded a mini sound test, so take a listen. In addition to the keyboard, my main gaming mouse of choice is the TENS Final Mouse. It's very lightweight, wireless, and it's just a beautiful mouse. Since I have two PCs, I have to have duplicates of everything. So to control my streaming PC, 
I have my custom G Pro Super Light laying around, and I have my Icky 68. It's honestly not the best keyboard, but it gets the job done. All of these peripherals are sitting on my very own mouse pad. This is a Gutsy Aiden mouse pad, and this is the Aqua Swirl, which is one of my favorites. Then I have a stream deck, which pretty much every streamer has at this point, with macros to switch scenes for my OBS. Overall, this setup has taken me nine years to save up and collect over time. I'm 23 years old now, and I'm very blessed to even have this kind of setup. I don't want this video to be a flex in any way, but I just want to show you what's possible if you set your mind to something. Then after that tour, I decided to move out on my own and buy my first house. I put the deposit down for this house in January and I purchased it in February, like officially. I moved in in March and then I built my dream setup. It's not my dream setup anymore, but I built my dream setup in this house you guys see now. I'll show clips of that and also the, the room tour right now, roll it. Room tour 2023. I got spirals in my eyes like I'm hypnotized. I'ma do it, B I G. I fucking need it now. Ain't gonna shoot it for this life. I gotta cut it ties. Now that the setup's complete, let me give you guys a tour of it. The wall is the first piece you pretty much look at, and I have a Govi light bar that goes from here. I had to use two of them. This light bar goes down to the corner, and then this is a nine-piece Govi light bar with a corner that just butts up right against it, and then it goes all the way across behind the fridge. For the things on the wall, we have some disc plates. This one is a Gakashi one. This one is a Levi and the Beast Titan, and this is Tanjiro and Kilua. And then for on the shelves, I tried to match the animes, so we've got, you know, Nezuko, Tanjiro, Gojo, um, Naruto in the middle. We got Levi up there and a plant. And then on this side, we got Kakashi, Spider-Man, which I don't really know where he fits, but he's just there for now. And then a Kakashi figurine as well. And all of these are housed on top of three floating shelves with lighting underneath as well, which I don't really need to turn on right now. And then when you turn to the right of the room, we have this pillar that has the closet in it. And this has the Armored Titan and a CSGO plant planting meme that's from the game. CSGO was a favorite game of all time for me, so that's why I have it. And then moving on to the closet. The closet was something cool because I wanted to promote the mouse pads, which if you guys don't know, I run a mouse pad business on the side of content creation and it's been doing insanely well. So it's part of my brand and it's part of me. And so that's why I like to show it off like this. And I kind of show different drops that I was proud of and I'll probably swap out them for seasonal when I decorate the room at Halloween and stuff like that and Christmas. But yeah, it just has my logo up top and it has the mouse pads right there. Yes, there's a ton of mouse pads at the bottom. Everyone always asks me if they can have one and no, you can't. Also, people ask me what's behind these doors and it's pretty much just extra monitors, uh, arms for the chairs, etc. Just extra stuff that I don't need. From the closet, let's go to the gaming setup now. Before we get into all of that, let's talk about the first PC specs. So this PC over here is running a Ryzen 5 5800X with a NZXT B550 and a 3090 by Gigabyte. I think it's also running a 750 watt power supply and some different fans and stuff like that. It is air cooled, but it is gonna get upgraded soon. It's also running 32 gigs of RAM and I'll have all the specs on the screen as well. Going on from this PC, let's talk about my audio equipment because this is the biggest asked question that I get on pretty much all my videos. What audio do I use, etc. So let's talk about it. So this is my Go XLR right here. Um, it's basically like an audio mixer. You can have sliders for different tracks that you wanna do as you see this one's going up and down while I'm talking, but this is basically my Shure mic. And then there's like, you know, my, my streaming PC right here and different sliders to control the audio. And then this is running on an Elgato multi-mount. My mic is now it's probably not the best mic arm, but I just thought it would be a cool place for it. It's running a, an XLR cable, which is kind of cable managed, kind of not. I need it loose for when I move around. And then let's talk about my headset. I'm running the Sennheiser, the HG58X is by Jubilee. This is one of the most comfortable headsets I've ever own and I can wear it for multiple hours on end and there's no problem. I also have for my main mic of choice, I'm running a Shure SM7B, obviously kind of the streamer run of the mill type of setup and it's running on the Elgato multi-mount as the boom arm. So that's pretty much my audio setup and let's move on to my monitors. So everyone always asks me about the monitors. My top monitor, I'm running a 34 inch ultra wide by LG and then for my main monitor, I'm running a 240 Hertz Alienware 27 inch monitor. 
monitor. And then I have a tiny monitor that's just a Li Pao portable monitor, and then it has like a little boom arm that clamps it in place. It's usually used for like iPads at workplaces, but I decided to kind of get a little crafty here and make it for my chat. So my chat usually sits on this monitor and it's really not used for anything else. The top monitor is hooked up to the streaming PC, which we'll go over the specs in a minute. But this monitor is basically used for all the stuff on that PC and this monitor is used for everything on that PC. It makes it super simple. So let's talk about my peripherals. Let's talk about my peripherals. So first up, my mouse pad is an Aqua Swirl by me. It's my own brand, GutsyAiden.com. And it's one of my favorite mouse pads ever. And 48 by 24 is the size. It's massive and I love it. So let's move on from the mouse pad to the keyboard. This keyboard is a Portico 75. It sounds pretty good. I'll do a sound test officially, but this is pretty much my favorite keyboard that I've ever received. A viewer gave it to me and I'm very blessed for that. Let's move on to the mouse. My favorite mouse of choice here is the Starlight from Final Mouse. And this is one of the Final Destination collab that they did, which was the last time they were releasing this mouse. And I got it in the small version. And I love this mouse. I also have the TENS one and it's one of my favorite mice of all time. And for the last thing, everyone always asks me what mouse this is. And it's a Logitech G uh, 600M. And it's basically just a MMO mouse. I play World of Warcraft from time to time and it's one of my favorite mice of all time. And then next up I have my Stream Deck and I have the button to switch between both PCs and this is to charge my mouse. Let's talk about my stream equipment slash lighting. So this light right here is a Switty S20 camera mounted light and I just use it right above on my camera. Um, you can turn it off by just kind of switching the switch off like that. It's really nice um, to have for face lighting. And then my main source of lighting is this big bulb thing right here. Um, it's a professional studio lighting from newer and it's really nice. This thing literally makes it daytime in here and it allows me to film this video right now for you guys. It's really natural light and I love it. So if you guys are content creators and want some good lighting, I'll link it down in the description. All right, let's talk about my main camera choice for streaming. This camera right here is a Sony Mark III. It's basically the younger brother of the camera that I'm using right now. This was my old content creation camera, but now it's like a stream camera that I use. And yeah, it's one of my favorite cameras. I'm running a 12 millimeter lens on it. I know 12 mil millimeters crazy, but I like having everything on one screen for the stream so they can see the background and everything from the stream angle. And it allows me to have like everything on stream. So, so let's talk about the PC specs is my streaming PC and it's amazing. Let me talk about the specs. So it's running a Lian Lee XL, which was custom made for me. It has my logo in it and my motto, prove them wrong. And the specs of it is a Ryzen 9 5950X and it's also running a 3090 Strix by Asus. Also running the Lian Lee fans, the Corsair fans, uh, the LL120s, and then the QL120s for the bottom to have that light showing through both. And then also my buddy Nacho painted the top of this for me with Kakashi and a little bit of light blue in it just to add that extra oomph to the PC. It's honestly one of my favorite builds to date and it's one of my most prized possessions. I love this PC. So from the PC, let's talk about my chair. This is the Mavex M9 and it's one of the best chairs on the market. Now, it is a hefty price tag of $1,000, but it's one of my most comfortable chairs I've ever sit in and I will 1000% back this chair over anyone talking on it because it is a goaded chair. I love sitting in this. I sit in my chair for like seven to eight hours a day sometimes. And this thing is always supporting my back and making it feel amazing. And honestly, a thousand dollars is worth it out of this chair. Beautiful chair and no, I don't put the armrest on. It's better without it, okay? I don't care what anybody tells you. Easy access on both sides, so. I don't want to hear it. This mini fridge back here that basically just stores all my drinks and Juvie was kind enough to send out a bunch of Juvie. So thank you guys. I've been drinking on that. It's dwindling down. So I'm going to need some more Juvie. Okay. I'm going to need some more of it. All right. I I'm going to need some more. And that's currently what the setup looks like today. It actually is a little bit more run down and I am planning a big rebuild for 2024. I know this is kind of a longer video and it's not something I normally do, but thank you guys for making it to the end if you did. Honestly, this journey has been insane and I want to keep making videos like this yearly just to show you guys that anything you want to set your mind to is possible get ready for a new setup bitches i spice in but overall i'm really excited to build my new setup this year i have some big plans and i'm very excited to build some setups for others this year so let me know what things should i change what things should i show you guys differently should i try to innovate should i try to use something from tiktok and make it better let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see with this room and setup right now it kind of sucks and i've been very acknowledgeable of that i know i can do a lot better especially since i am a setup channel so let me know what you guys want to see. Like and subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching. Deuces.